As expected, it looks like EDCA and the closer defense ties between the Philippines and the United States will have an effect on the Philippine Air Force's multirole fighter acquisition project. While it did not specifically say buying American fighters, it is obvious that the U.S. will support the Philippines in procuring and attaining a fleet of American-made fighter aircraft. The point that the multirole fighter has made it into the official statement shows how important the need for multirole fighters are not just in the Philippines' point of view, but also that of the Americans who are guaranteeing our defense against foreign aggression. Max Defense Philippines have always been saying that politics has become a key element in the PAF's multirole fighter acquisition, which could benefit Lockheed Martin's bid to supply the F-16 Block 70 Viper to the PAF including a commitment to supply one F-16C D Block 30 or 40 Fighting Falcons from U.S. Excess Defense Articles EDA, to assist in immediately building up air defense capability and familiarization of our air and ground crew while waiting for the new F-16 Vipers to be manufactured and delivered. And we have always been saying that EDCA provisions as well as the security situation in the Indo-Pacific has pushed the U.S. to consider providing more fighters from U.S. EDA stocks aside from those committed as part of the new Build Viper deal. While the DND is still in discussion with Sweden and Saab for their JAS-39 CD Gripen, it doesn't make sense anymore in terms of logistics, maintenance, and training to have them if the PAF will still receive F-16s from the U.S., with or without the Viper deal. Hopefully, the U.S. push to assist the PAF to build its MRF fleet would start immediately.